Hello everybody and welcome to the Airship Pirates build tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to use the build server and all of the useful and nice commands you want to know about. The first thing is you have to add the IP which you can find in the description and then you just join the server. The first thing that will happen is you'll spawn at the spawn and this is a proper place to introduce it to our world system. So for one we have the arena world. This is where you can paste your ship that you've built and then you can battle with all the other players who are in the arena and also want to test their ship. Uh, this is usually where you can chat about engineering stuff. Um, you can discuss where to add your torpedoes, which cannon is the best and all the good stuff. A second thing is the plot world. This is where you can get yourself a plot which um, is protected to you and you can set all the things you want. And it's basically your private construction space where you can build all the things you want in creative mode. This is where we're going to go first. We want to go warp plot world and we'll uh, get into the plot world. And now first I'm going to show you how to claim a plot. So for that I'm just fast forward and I'll fly somewhere where it's a free plot. So I've arrived at a new plot and I just fly in and I type plot claim and this is now my plot. If you don't want to fly all the way to a free plot or if you don't have the time to search for one or if you don't want a specific location you can also go plot auto to demonstrate it. I will have to quickly delete my plot um, I have unclaimed my plot with plot delete, so if that's something you want to do, that's it. And we can go plot auto, and we automatically get a plot claimed. Now the next thing, if you have a plot, is you want to set some flags and add some people. So plot info shows you all the data of your plot, and you can see every thing you added it and just tinkered with. You can see trusted and members over there so you can go plot add and then the player name and you can go plot trust and then the player name. The only difference is add will allow players to build when you are online and trust just adds them to the plot and they can build whenever they want even if you're not online. So add is if you don't trust the player enough and trust if you trust the player. Another thing is plot flag and we're gonna go list for now. List shows you all the flags you can add to your plot and we're quickly gonna add plot flag add greeting and we need a greeting we'll just say hello there and the plot will greet everyone who enters it with hello there. The next thing that is good to add is force field. I'm gonna set that to true force field will basically deny players from entering your plot and they will just be pushed away by a force field. And the next useful flag we're gonna add is explosions and we're gonna leave that untrue for now. And uh, I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate. You can blow up stuff. Which is, you know, good if you wanna test cannons or just blow up stuff. Now if you're building something and you don't want anything to blow up and damage what you've done. You can also set this flag to false and TNT does no damage whatsoever and you can't blow off your building by accident. The last thing about the plot is if you go plot home you will be teleported to your plot. Now this wraps up all the important commands of plot and the next thing we're gonna go into is world edit. Now I am going to show you how to use WorldEdit to speed up your building. So if you're familiar with WorldEdit you can skip this section and the uh, command for that will be in the description. The first thing you can do with WorldEdit is you can go slash WAND and this gives you a wooden axe which basically allows you to select regions. So in WorldEdit you select a region and then you edit this region. So I'm gonna quickly draw up something here and by left clicking I can set the first position by right clicking and can set the second position. So the first command is set. So 
left side set and now you have to put in the block ID of the block you want to set so I'm just gonna go one this is stone and we can also go two that is grass or three that is dirt or you can see all the block IDs if you go F3 and H as you can see advanced tooltips are now shown and you have all the block IDs here one thing I want to tell you is if there's a slash uh, you have to do it by wielded by separating with colon and the second thing is you can also use typed or words for the set command just uh, if that works better for you and if you don't want to work with IDs the next thing is the replace command so if I have some special thing I just want to replace the grass for example here and I go slash slash replace and now you have to do the ID of the block you want to replace so grass is 2 and we're gonna get set that to stone and it sets all the grass blocks in the region to stone the next thing we can do is copy and paste as we already selected the region we can go slash slash copy and then we go somewhere else and we go slash slash paste and it will paste whatever we've just copied now another thing is if you don't have a block to select a region you can go slash slash position 1 and you can go slash slash position 2 and we're just gonna set that to air so 0 is air and that it solves it a quick little trick is if you want to get somewhere in the air and you need a block you just go up one and this will pla place a block under you and you can also go uh, up 50 and this will take you 50 blocks up and also place a block under you and by that you can simply build somewhere high in the air without having to stack up all the way and another quick command is if we go slash plus one and slash slash plus two we can go slash 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 walls and then as an idea I'm just gonna go 95 to 14 that 15 that is black class and this will set only the walls of the selected region and this is useful if you just want to mark a region or if you just want to set a parameter or something and the last thing I want to go into is your plot is pretty big but you might want to clear up some stuff to clear up stuff you select the thing you want to save by first position and second position then you go slash slash copy and now you can save it with world edit schematica so you go slash slash shem space save and now you need a name so if it's something secret you should come up with a giant code just like use password advice to find out how to make a secure code that no one can guess um, in order to not overwrite other players shems it's usually sensible to put your player name somewhere in the name so I'm just gonna go video minion 10 and then I'm gonna go whatever because this is whatever now I've saved the shem and I can delete it here from my plot and use the place to do something else and when I want it again I go slash slash shem load and I'll go video minion video minion 10 whatever mm. this is apparently the demonstration I'm just stupid. This happens when you type something wrong, by the way. Um, I can just paste it again. And here it is. And the last thing is you need to pay attention to uppercase and lowercase letters. Because Will It um, actually saves upper and lowercase letters and it doesn't autocorrect. So if I would want to load my schematic with uppercase letters, I think one is just enough, it again doesn't exist. Um, these are the basic commands for Wildedit. I'm just going to throw the Wildedit tutorial in the description and then you can find all the 
complicated stuff that you might want to use if you want to make perfect cone shapes, circles, or um, stuff like that. But we're not going to get into this one right now. And the next thing we're going to talk about is the arena and how to teleport the players. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is how to teleport to other players because you might want to visit your friend. To stop people from randomly teleporting to anyone they'd like to, we've uh, introduced or used the TP exec system. So if you want to teleport your friend to you, you go TPA here and then the player name. So I just asked Dr. Akner to help us. And then he has to TP accept the TP and he will be teleported to us. As you can see, he's here. We should, yeah, he should be able to move. But just to make it convenient, we're just going to add him to our plot. Now, if I want to get to him, I go TPA and Dr. Akner and then he has to TP accept. So it basically goes like this and if someone wants to teleport to you, you get a notification that you should type TP accept or TP deny so you can't really get this wrong. And if I want to write with Dr. Agner, I just go W and then I go to player name and then I say, hey. Another shortcut is I've now written to Dr. Agner or if he writes to me, I can go slash R, so this is the last partner you talk to, and then type the message. How's it going? And it will send it to the last person who communicated with you that way. This is basically just a shortcut, so you don't always have to write their name. The last thing I want to do is go to the arena. So we're going to go slash warp arena. And this is our arena. It's usually cleaned up a little bit more. But the basic idea is that you copy your ship, you paste it here and you can fight with other people. You have to obey the fighting rules which you can see in our forum section. And yeah, this basically wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Are you the kind of person who fills up their plot quickly? Are you the kind of person who needs more space for creative freedom? Are you the kind of person who wants to support the Azure Pirate server? Then we've got the right thing for you. A big plot for a donator. Visit our shop at azurepirates.vicraft.net.